campers. This is Darren with My RV Works. Today we are working on a Dometic furnace, formerly an Atwood furnace. This is an Atwood uh, or a Dometic uh, AFM, which is Atwood Furnace Medium. They have the Atwood, or AFS for small, AFS, <laughs> bleh, get this out straight. AFS for small, AFM for medium, AFS. L for large. Okay, I'm glad we got that established. So what we have going on here is we have a furnace that is not working. Now if you look down here on the control board, you'll see three blinking lights. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now that tells us it's in lockout. Over here on the side, you'll see the one, two, three blinks, the one blinks, the two blinks, the three blinks. Okay, now when we reset this thing, okay, it's gonna fire off. Okay, everybody's happy. And um, I'm going to just go ahead and tell you what's going to happen. He's going to try to ignite. We're going to smell gas. We'll hear a click off of the gas. The gas valve is here. You heard the click. Okay, so now I'm smelling gas. You can't smell that gas, but I can smell gas. So I heard the click. So what that tells us is the sail switch is happy. The high limit thermostat's happy. Uh, the board wants to ignite. It opens up the gas valve, but we're not getting ignition. So this little black module right here is a sparker. We've got this little connector, he goes in there. And so if you look, let's see here, let me see. There, there, uh, down here. You're gonna take, we're gonna take some screws, I'm gonna pull this whole thing out. We have to take the gas valve loose to pull that out. And uh, we're gonna pull that out and we're going to inspect the electrode. And um, so that'll be our next step. Okay, so with these three screws loose, one there, one there, one there, we take off the gas valve here, that's a three quarter inch. And we can just pull this out. We have to take the ground wire off right here. And then um, a lot of times it helps if you unplug this. Uh, let's see, one hand in here. Hold on. Okay, so we unplug this, take off the ground wire right here. And then with those three screws loose, we can pull the whole burner out. So you don't need to take the furnace out, just those three screws. Okay. Now here we have the electrode here, okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reconnect this wire. We've got the gas off. We're going to reconnect the wire. Now what we should see here is a spark right here. So the click is a gas valve opening, allowing gas to go through. Gas is now filled inside of the burner here. And then we need to see a spark between these two electrodes right here. That should be an eighth of an inch gap. And um, this spark is, gas is in here. The spark, woof, we have ignition. So that's what we're going to test for next. Okay, so I've reconnected my ground. I've reconnected my gas valve. Now let's try to reset. Now, when we're doing this, this exhaust port must be installed when you're running this thing for real, or it will not work. So we're going to listen. We're doing the pre-purge now. We're listening for a click here at these solenoids, and then we're going to look for a spark down here. There's our click. I see no spark. Okay. So and I'm, uh, I would. The gas is off. It's even disconnected up in there. Okay. So we've got the LP turned off. So we have an issue with this electrode with the electrode wire or with the control board. So that's what we're gonna troubleshoot next. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna try is a, an electrode. So we have a new, a new electrode here. Okay, we're leaving the old one in place. And we're gonna go ahead and start this up. So we're gonna do this with one hand. One side needs to be grounded. So we're gonna go ahead and ground it there. And now what we're gonna do is look, now grounded at one end, we're gonna look for a spark at that end when that gas valve clicks. Okay, I have no spark right there, so then that would indicate that maybe there's something wrong with this control board. So now let's look at that. But okay, so this is the original board. We haven't taken it off yet. Here's a new board that I've just got hanging in there, uh, just for testing purposes. This is the original electrode right here. And so let's go ahead and test it now and see what happens. Okay, we're coming off the new board now. Okay, now when, when this guy here clicks, we should see a spark down here. that we got a spark. So what that tells us is the board was bad. We're going to put a new board in, button all this up, and now you'll see that the, the when the gas valve opens, it'll introduce gas into this burner here. This igniter will ignite it. Okay, so let's put it all back together and see if we can get the guy some heat. We've got it all put back together again. We've got our three screws back up in there. We connected our gas valve. We've just inserted our exhaust port. Uh, got a new control board here. So let's fire it off and see what happens.
What it's doing now is called a pre-purge. It's going to do this for about 15 seconds to make sure there's no combustibles in there before it opens up the gas valve and introduces gas into the burner. So there we go. And we've got heat coming out. That feels really good right now. My hands are frozen. So what we're going to do now is we're going to button the whole thing up. So at the end of the day, we had a bad control board. Um, but I'd rather try a $35 electrode than a $160 board in my troubleshooting process. And uh, since we weren't getting ignition, we kind of needed to take that burner out and uh, inspect that electrode. While we had it out, we made sure we had an eighth of an inch gap um, from the, the electrodes between each other and also to the surface of the burner. So now we'll button it back up and um, get on down the road to our next customer. Happy camper say, my RV works, yay! And now we're warm in this 28 degree cold. <laughs> okay, next time.